It's Shark Week. But what is Shark Week? How common are shark attacks? And what are the U.S. laws about sharks? ASP explains. Shark Week is not actually a government event. It started 37 years ago as a promotion for the Discovery Channel. The event sought to dispel some of the myths about sharks that had spread since the release of the movie Jaws. Prior to Jaws, which turned 50 this year, sharks were mostly viewed as garbage eaters rather than as dangerous predators. That's because shark attacks were, and still are, extremely rare. The World Wildlife Fund estimates that only three of the more than 350 species of shark are responsible for about two-thirds of all shark attacks globally. Those are the great white, tiger, and bull sharks. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the odds of being attacked by a shark are about 1 in 11.5 million, compared to the 1 in 1.2 million odds of being struck by lightning. Despite that, the U.S. leads the world in shark attacks, with 1,668 recorded unprovoked attacks since 1580. The majority of those attacks, 942, occurred off the coast of Florida. A 2023 report from the NOAA found that climate change and carbon emissions are causing predatory species like sharks to shift their natural habitats. Bull sharks have been increasingly found in freshwater rivers, including one caught in the Guadalupe River in Texas last summer. Most of the U.S. laws on sharks focus on the practice of shark finning. That's when fishers catch sharks, remove their fins, and throw the shark back in the water. A 2024 study published in the journal Science found that shark finning kills about 80 million sharks each year. Congress has been working on some new shark legislation related to protecting people from attacks. Earlier this month, the Senate unanimously passed Lulu's Law, which would establish a system to issue public notices to cell phones when there's a shark attack nearby. The bill has bipartisan support in the House, but there's no indication on when or if it will receive a vote.